Spectrum Athlete Spotlight by First Alert 4. When you talk about who's one of the best edge rushers in the state of Missouri, Quincy Bias fits this conversation. I think Quincy Bias is one of the best edges in the country. He's a two-time first-team All-Metro Catholic Conference defensive end. He's also earned Defensive Player of the Year in his conference with 44 tackles, 12 sacks, three interceptions, three fumble recoveries, and three touchdowns playing defensive line. It feels good, you know. I've been working a lot with my teammates and by myself on my own. And just be able to finally, you know, reap what you sow and get the crop from my rewards. Not surprised that he got it. Uh, it was kind of a plan, you know, and we talked about it. We, you know, you got an opportunity to be in this situation, and he kind of took to it and said, okay, that's fine, I'm, I'm willing to, to take the challenge, especially being on the other side of Caleb, where Caleb draws a lot of attention. So he's able to kind of get one-on-one -on -one situations and be able to take advantage of them. While growing up, Bias was a basketball kid. Getting inspiration from his brother, he decided to give football a shot. Uh, first, I played D-back. That sounds hard to believe. I got a little bigger, got a little, you know, stronger, I guess. Started playing D-line, and then since then, since about fifth grade, I've been playing D-line. Coach Poe, he's a great guy. That's my D-line coach. Uh, he really just told me, you know, get out what you put in. So basically, he just pushing me every day in practice or whatever I'm doing, whether it be the weight room, him downstairs in the weight room, pushing me through it, or whether it be him on the field, you know, critiquing anything I can do to make it better to become the best player I can be. Extremely proud of Quincy, man. You know, here at DeSmet, man, D-line is kind of kind of the thing. It was one of those things when I got here last year, my first year, uh, he was one of the first guys I kind of recognized and said, okay, this kid, this kid got something to him. Uh, I think he was kind of looked over. Uh, people didn't really think he was going to be, you know, what he's turned out to be. But there was always something that I saw just kind of like, okay, this guy's got something. And he's really, 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 really cerebral about the position. So he understands things a lot of guys don't understand. He sees things before they happen. He understands leverage. His bend is incredible. Uh, and he's got a great motor. Bias has been a huge asset to the Spartans during their playoff run this year by making big time plays to seal games. This Quincy always finds the ball. So it wasn't a surprise that he was the one who scooped the ball up and was able to score because he always finds his way around the ball. So, you know, Caleb had a big hit on the quarterback. He coughed the ball up and of course he was able to be there to pick it up. Bias also makes an impact off the field by helping out around campus and supporting his peers. Tremendous kid off the field. He's a little playful sometimes, but uh, tremendous kid off the field, man. He's great. I think it's 3.8 GPA. Uh, he's a tremendous in the classroom. He's a leader in the, in the school building. Uh, he's actually part of National Honor Society. Uh, he comes from a great family. I would say what motivates me is kind of like being around the people like that, we, that I guess I would say I love you. So just being around teammates that, you know, I know that they're there for me, I'm there for them. Uh, one thing I'm looking forward to next year is trying to become more of a leader on the team. I know we have captains now and seniors now to lead the team. They're going to be going away to college and all that. So just we're going to have to have somebody step up eventually. And I want to be one of those guys that steps up with people like our quarterback Dylan Duff, people like Jason King, Mike Cunningham, people like that that, you know, look to lead the team with them. And hopefully once again get back to that state championship.